Hi everyone! In this video, we will see how you can make neon lighting and how you can use V-Ray Light Mix to easily adjust it. I have prepared this bedroom scene and I have merged this sign behind the headboard. If you are wondering, all the models I have used in this scene are from 3D Sky. I have mentioned this site in a previous video of mine and I will also enclose a link on this video description. So, what I'm gonna do is to select the sign, right click and isolate it so that I can work easier on this without getting confused or distracted from the remaining objects of my scene. Let me also go to all four viewports. Let's create a V-Ray light. Go to the command panel, click on the create panel, go to the lights, click on the photometric drop-down list and select V-Ray. Click on the V-Ray light button. Go to the top view and draw a light. We don't care about the size of this V-Ray light since at the end it will get the shape of our sign, so for now just give it a random size. Then, with the V-Ray light selected, go to the Modify tab, go to the General Rollout and in the Type field click on Plane and select Mesh. Now, the free light automatically gets this boxy look. Go to the mesh light rollout and click on the pick mesh command. Then, click on your sign. So, what happened right now is that our sign, which was an editable poly, got transformed to a V-Ray light, keeping the same geometry. And now, it behaves like any V-Ray light. I personally prefer my lights to have a warm feeling, so in the lights properties, I will set the mode to temperature and type 3500 Kelvin. Let's do a first render to see how it looks. In case you are wondering, I am using V-Ray 5 and for my testing I leave the default settings. But what I need to add in these default settings is the denoiser and the light mix. To do so, go to the Render Elements tab, click on the Add button and select V-Ray Denoiser. Then click again on the Add button and select V-Ray Light Mix. Let's hit the Render button. I think it already looks beautiful. Now, let's see how we can play around with the lights using V-Ray Light Mix. Guys, please pay attention, V-Ray Light Mix is a feature introduced in V-Ray 5, so if you have an earlier version, I'd say that you need to upgrade because it's so, so cool. Let's see it in action. So, while I am rendering, you can see it here that I'm still rendering, I can go to the layers and click on the source light mix. Make sure light mix here is selected and you can see a list of all the lights you have in the scene. If your lights are instances, you will see only one of them here. It's good when you create a light to give it a proper name so that you can easily identify it in this list. So, our new lighting is this one. I can turn it off and then back on. I can go to the multiplier value and play with the intensity. So, if I type 2 instead of 1, I can double the intensity. 
or let me make it 10 so that it's more visible. Now let me take it down to maybe 3. I can also change the color of the lighting. Click on this white field and select a color. So you can see all your adjustments in real time while our render is being processed. This is such a revelation because in previous versions of V-Ray we could use the progressive uh, method but every time we were making an adjustment the render would start from scratch to being calculated. This is such a great time saver. As a final step, let me also go to the lens effects up here. Then go to the properties and click on enable bloom and glare effect. Now you can play around with the size and the intensity. Please keep in mind that the glare effect applies to all our lights simultaneously. That's all on how to make a neon lighting and how to adjust it using the V-Ray light mix. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe till then.